Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, I'm filming a little different today because my husband is in the kitchen putting up pendant lights. So <laughs> I'm in my craft room, okay? So what I want to do to, today is make some Dollar Tree DIYs that are fashion illustration related for uh, like a girly room. You could put these in the in like a bedroom, in a craft room. I think it would be so pretty. So for the first one, what you'll have, you'll, what you'll need is one of these Crafter Square stretch canvases. This is an eight by 10, okay? And I always use the Avery shipping labels, but now Avery has this sticker project paper. Pick this up at Walmart and I'm trying this out for the first time. Okay, so what you need to do is, and I'll link this image um, in the description box below, but I found this on Pinterest and I loved it. It's so pretty. I think it came from Pinterest. So I just printed it out with my Cricut. You could print this out on your computer. And all we're going to do is just open this canvas up. These are really easy little DIYs, okay? I'm going to peel this off. I just did it like a washi setting on my Cricut. And I've made pictures like this for my craft room before. Then all you have to do is just figure out where you want it. I would measure, but I'm not going to. I never do. These, I can tell you, do not seem to be as sticky as the regular sticker paper from Avery. So, you need the other sticker paper because it would have stuck. I'm going to have to put some glue on this. So, I'll tell you right now, I don't like their um, sticker sheets. It's not sticky enough. My other stuck really well. But this is not wanting to stick on the canvas. But if you get the eight and a half by 11, it works very nicely. So I'm just going to use some school glue. I'm going to put this right on here. Now my others, I painted my canvas, but I'm not painting this one. Okay, and this is what we're getting. Isn't that beautiful for a room? I love that. My craft room is done in like a girly theme. So this is the first one. It's so pretty. If you would see that on Etsy or out, you'd pay a lot of money for that. So that's the first one. And these are the other ones that I made for my craft room right here. I love and I just Googled fashion illustration. And got these. Okay, for our second one, you need a vase from the Dollar Tree. I've had these flowers for quite a while. Um, it's a peony. I got them at Big Lots a long time ago for nine dollars. Okay, so we're just going to cut some of this off. And this image I can't link in the description box. I would love to. I was on Pinterest. I found it. And then I lost it before I could copy it. But just I just Googled Chanel label, okay? And that's what I found. All right, so I printed that out on those little labels. I hope I'm not going to be sorry. Maybe they'll stick to glass better. Okay. And they do. They stick to the glass much better. Okay, that's what we're getting so far. You could put pearls in this if you wanted. You could put different things. But I'm just going to get some of these and clip them. I bought me some Knips from um, Lowe's. And I really like my Klein pliers, but my husband saw those and he said, oh, those are really good. And he said, I can't believe the price that they have them at. They were like $29. So I picked those up. I'm going to cut this one about right here. And I think I might put one more in there.
think I need them shorter. But I want to be able to see the stem going down. Okay, I just took some of these little pearls, uh, jewels that I picked up at Michael's quite a while ago. And I put some in that vase because these flowers are just so heavy, they're, they weren't wanting to stay. And that's giving them something to stick to. And this is our second one. I think that is so cute. I love it with the little pearls in it, okay? It'll be beautiful for some room decor. Okay, for our next one, you'll need two books from the Dollar Tree. And I picked up the ones that were white. Okay, and we're just going to take the front covers off of them. Then I'm going to be using this scrap paper that I've had for quite a while. I got it at Michael's when it was a hot buys. I always get my paper pads there and I wait for hot buys, okay? And I just put my books down on it to see how far I wanted it. I want it to cover the back, but then I want to bring it down like this to make it look like a purse. I think that is so cute. Okay, so what we're going to do is just put some glue right on here, the school glue. I'm going to put this book right on this edge, flip it over and line it up. On the edge of the book and then I'm just want it, I want it to come down almost like a clutch just like that I think that is so pretty then I took my Cricut and I just wrote out Louis Vuitton on this I'm going to weed this Okay, I'm go I just printed out Louis Vuitton. I'm going to get some transfer tape. And here's how this one turned out. I think that is really cute. I love it. Okay, then for this book, I just picked this out. Same thing, I'm going to add a generous amount of glue on here. Take the book, flip it over. it up. Make sure that it stays where you want it. Here's another clutch. <laughs> okay, and on this, I just wrote out Dior.
And here is this one. So adorable. Okay, for the next one, I just took one of these Dollar Tree containers, painted it white with the Apple Barrel gloss paint. And with my Cricut, I made some Chanel. A Chanel logo and the word that says Chanel. Okay, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is put this on some paper. What is it that you do? Okay, then we're just going to put this inside this box. You can make your tray as big as you want it. I just couldn't use a really big tray in here. There's that one. Then I wrote Chanel for the outside. Okay, here is this one. And then the last one, we're going to make a perfume bottle. So you need one of these stackable organizing drawers from the Dollar Tree. All right, and then what you need is some pearls from Crafter Square from the Dollar Tree, okay? And we're just going to put some right in here. I have two packs. I don't know how many I'll use. You could definitely just use one. Um, I might use two and see how that looks. I like it better with two, okay? Then what we're going to do is take this label that I made on my Cricut and I want to put it right here, okay? So that's what we're getting so far, but we're not finished. Then I just had a piece of this styrofoam around the house and I want to just glue it right to the top to make a real cute little um, lid. So I'm gonna put that right on there. I didn't even have to cut this. That's just how it was, okay? So that's what we're getting so far. Now, you can take the diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree and wrap that. I have this wrap from Totally Dazzled that I got a long time ago. That's what I'm going to be using, okay? And you definitely could do that before you glue this on. So I'm just going to go down through here and cut some strips. Then I'm going to start at the back and start gluing this on.
cut it off right here. Then I'll put another piece right in there. And that's what we're getting so far. I think that's so pretty, okay? So I'm gonna cut a bunch more and just do the same thing around. I'm going to take this excess and put it on the top. Well, here is our fashion illustration inspired room decor. I love it. And I fixed my little Chanel logo where I guess when I was weeding out with um, my vinyl, I must have missed that. So I fixed it. And I think that's so pretty. And I love it setting on that Dior book. This would be so pretty in, like I said, a craft room, a girl's bedroom, a dressing room. I love that little bottle and that's so precious. I just really am pleased with how these turned out and if you would see this, you should price this online. This stuff is so expensive and you can make it so inexpensively with items from the Dollar Tree. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you'd subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I will see you tomorrow, Wednesday, for I think it's going to be a Dollar Tree haul. Until next time, bye guys.